Good morning. I just want to acknowledge the incredible work of the team under uh, Chief Attorney Matt Gonzalez, uh, Francisco Ugarte, uh, Zachary Dillon, uh, who argued the uh, motion for a new trial, and Danielle Thompson, uh, who was the investigator, and our entire office. As you can imagine, a, a case like this uh, took a tremendous amount of work, and uh, Matt and his team uh, worked diligently seven days a week uh, on this case uh, for months. And I want to express uh, my personal gratitude and, quite frankly, for the cause of justice uh, that they were able to mount the defense that they did. I want, also want to uh, thank uh, Tony Serra for being here and his team uh, for uh, undertaking the defense of Mr. Garcia Zadate. Uh, as Matt Gonzalez said uh, at the first appearance, this case has been a tremendous tragedy. But what has compounded it is the fact that we have a president and attorney general uh, who are, are really spitting in the face of justice uh, by, by, by directing, by directing uh, a prosecution uh, for possession of a gun after uh, the verdict in this case. And uh, it's very important, I think, that it be said that this is a vindictive uh, prosecution. And I think that's what will be borne out uh, by uh, what happened in terms of the decision being made. Uh, keep in mind that there was no such decision two years ago. This was a direct result of really improper comments uh, that were made uh, by the president and, and, and others regarding uh, this outcome. They did not see the evidence in this case. They did not watch the trial. Uh, and yet, uh, they have directed uh, a charge being made uh, against Mr. Garcia Zadake that is not supported by the evidence.